In this film we're going to assemble the Ratio 436 security fence. This kit is part of a vast range of modern security fencing products produced by Pico. Before you start modelling you need the right tools to do the job and we recommend the Pico Tools Kit Builders Toolset, the PT200. You would also require super glue, a cocktail stick and a tri-square. Keep your instructions to one side as you'll need them for reference during your build. Lay out all the kit's components in order to familiarise yourself with its parts. Start by removing the selected components from their mouldings. This can be done with a pair of plastic cutters or a modelling knife. Then take each component and remove any plastic burrs or rough edges from the kit's parts using a file to clean the edges. Cut one end of your mesh fencing material in a straight line to give you a straight edge and then measure and cut to size to fit the gate. Dab a small amount of super glue onto a cocktail stick and gently place it along the front edge of the gate. Gently position the cut piece of mesh over the top. Take your time whilst doing this as you could end up sticking your fingers together or getting it on wonky. When the mesh is in position and dry, then dab some more super glue to the top of your posts and attach the security wire across the top of the gate. When you have attached the wire and it's been cut to size, score lightly and carefully bend just below where the wire is attached to the top of the gate to create a similar angle to match the rest of the top of your fencing. When finished, it should look like this. Then attach the hinge pins, but make sure you also attach the hinges for the adjacent mounting post, as shown here. Depending on the surface type of your baseboards, you may need to remove a strip of anything soft, like on this layout, we have soundproofing, similar to cork, sun dealer or laminate floor insulation underneath the layout surface. We suggest inserting a strip of copper clad to support the base of your posts. Either into the copper clad or directly onto the solid baseboard, drill a hole every 40 millimeters apart using a 0.5 millimeter or 1 32nd of an inch diameter drill bit. Dab a tiny amount of super glue onto the peg at the end of each post and position upright. You can use a tri-square to help you achieve this. On any corners, don't forget to insert a 45 degree angle piece to support your fence post. Then taking the lengths of wire, feed them through the holes at the top of each post along the length of your fence as shown here. You need to repeat this three times. Use a tiny amount of glue on each post as you slide it through. It'll also add strength and rigidity to your fence. Now I'm going to cover my copper clad with some ballast, making sure that it is level with the surrounding area. Then taking a pipette I will drop watered down PVA glue over it and wait for it to dry. Once dry I will measure the height and the length of the mesh I need to cut. I then attach the strips of mesh to the fence posts one at a time, keeping it straight and level. I do this gently by dabbing some glue on a cocktail stick and rubbing it up and down the length of each post. Then I attach the gate using the two previously fitted hinges onto the end fence post. Once fitted and dried, I then paint and attach the red warning target to the centre of the gate. And here we have a secure perimeter fence that will keep out any trespassers. So what's stopping you from having a go at putting a security fence on your layout? I hope you've enjoyed this security fencing film from Pico TV and we look forward to seeing you again on another kit build program in the future. Thank you.